guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Chrissy Teigen because recently she has been in the headlines and not for a good reason. I apologize in advance if I look down but I have notes on my phone just to keep the timeline correct. Full disclosure, before I moved to the States a couple years ago I had no idea of Chrissy Teigen's existence so keeping the timeline with her and like her antics has also been rather complicated complicated for me. So a couple of you alerted me and rather asked me if I was going to cover the Chrissy Teigen situation and I had no idea what was really going on. So I looked into it and it is truly disturbing. So before we get to Chrissy Teigen specifically, I think we need to discuss what occurred before Chrissy Teigen commented on it and then got dragged for it and then subsequently apologized for it. There's this content creator called Courtney Stodden. So in 2011, Courtney Stodden was 16 years old and they was a social media personality and then later on made music and went on to reality TV shows. Through a career, they unfortunately met a man named Doug Hutchinson. Hutchinson was an actor and he was most well known for his role in The Green Mile. He was the creepy corrections officer. He was in other things as well, but that's usually what is referred to when referred to his acting career. So Stodden and Hutchinson met in an acting class that Hutchinson was actually teaching and then shit happened and Hutchinson and Stodden were married on May 20th, 2011. Now Hutchinson was 51 and Stodden was 16. So clearly this was a very controversial quote unquote relationship, though some might rightfully call it grooming. And Hutchinson claimed that he had been disowned by his family and that his agent quit and that he was receiving death threats and the label of pedophile. This is positive in one way and I'm not saying it's positive that he got death threats because I never am in favor of death threats. The only thing that's positive I think is that the public had a reaction because it was clear that there was something amiss with the relationship because first of all, Stodden wasn't even a whole adult yet, A. B, there was also a power imbalance. And of course, the age factor is the biggest one considering how young they were. But there were a lot of factors that made it so that the relationship was deemed as creepy, grooming, unhealthy, and predatory. As much as Hutchinson got some critique, it seemed like the biggest part of critique, hate, threats fell onto Stodden. I don't know why, I don't know if it's because they were young, whatever you would count a 16 year old as, but they got so much more backlash than he did and shamed in multiple ways, slut shamed, shamed for marrying someone of that age, shamed for basically anything and everything that related to that relationship, even though they clearly were the victim in that relationship and that they clearly were at the end of the day just a 16 year old. And that I think is the most disgusting part of all of this is that they not only were the victim of grooming, but the victim of cyber bullying, of extreme harassment. And that's when we're gonna get to Chrissy Teigen because she was one of the main players in a massive amount of harassment. So the mother was supportive of the marriage, which is the only reason why the marriage really could occur because she thought Hutchinson was a good person, I suppose. So there were a lot of public figures slash celebrities who were weighing in on this in a negative way. Anderson Cooper was one of them, but the main person was Chrissy Teigen and I'll explain why. So in in case you didn't know, because like I said, I didn't know who she was until a couple of years ago. Tegan is a model and a television personality and basically when Hutchinson and Stodden got married, she was very, very vocal about her opinion about all of it online as if her opinion mattered, really. Tegan in 2011, she was a grown adult. She was not a teenager, so there's no excuse of her being young and not knowing better. She was a full grown adult. She wasn't at the peak of her career, but she was growing very quickly and she already had a very large following. So she isn't the Chrissy Teigen we know today with like all the deals and all the fame, but she still was famous and growing. And she wasn't married to John Legend yet. That 
that would occur a couple years later. Tegan took to publicly tweeting at Stodden I don't know for what reason, because as far as I know, Stodden never reached out or tweeted at Tegan, and even had none of these responses would have been appropriate, but Tegan would comment things to Stodden saying, go to sleep forever. Other tweets said things along the lines of, what drugs makes you do that with your mouth? Asking for a friend who really wants to know how to look like an idiot. Thanks. Well, this was in 2012, so to a 17-year-old, what was the point? She also tweeted, I hate you. There were a lot of other tweets that kind of have this similar message of basically kill yourself. Now, there was an interview recently with Daily Beast where Stodden actually mentioned that Chrissy Teigen DM'd to kill themselves. More abusive and basically just like harassing comments, which is even more scary because it's like you feel comfortable enough to tell someone to go to sleep forever publicly, but then privately you feel even more comfortable to essentially say go kill yourself. And Stodden in interviews has said all of the hate specifically from Chrissy Teigen did make them consider hurting themselves to the extent of death. There aren't any words to really encapsulate how massive of an event it is what she did. Now, as of when I'm filming, Chrissy Teigen has been dropped by Macy's, I believe, and she's been dropped by Bloomingdale's. When I post this, who knows who else may have dropped her. But then Chrissy Teigen decided to post a public apology which is laughable and ironic because at the time of filming, Courtney is blocked by Chrissy Teigen, which is funny in a horrible way because Chrissy Teigen addresses Courtney in the apology. And in fact, Courtney said the apology was made for damage control as opposed to being a real apology. And I tend to agree because if it was a real apology, she also could have DM'd, could have made a public one so the public knows, and then she could have made a private one so she could be, you know, more detailed, more personal and actually show that it's not just for show to be like, oh, I did a bad thing, I said sorry, so absolve me. So in the apology, she says, not a lot of people are lucky enough to be held accountable for all their past bullshit in front of the entire world. I'm mortified and sad at who I used to be. I was an insecure attention-seeking troll. I'm ashamed and completely embarrassed at my behavior, but that is nothing compared to how I made Courtney feel. I've worked so hard to give you guys joy and be beloved and feeling of letting you down is nearly unbearable, truly. These were not my only mistakes and surely won't be my last, as hard as I try but God, I will try. So people in the comments, myself included, already had an issue here because it's great that you're apologizing to Courtney, but the fact that it's unbearable to you that you disappointed your fans doesn't send the same message because it's one message to apologize to Courtney and say, hey, I was a attention-seeking troll, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, whatever. It's another thing to be like, oh, I'm sorry I disappointed my fans because really that is that should be the least of your concerns. Like the way you made your fans feel should be a concern to an extent, but the fact that you almost had someone kill themselves because of you, maybe make that the center point focus because I mean like the, the underlying thing is are you sad that you disappointed your fans because you did this? Or are you sad you disappointed your fans because they found out you did this? Those are two very separate things. Because had this not become a scandal, do I think there would have been an apology? Do I think she would have been worried about the disappointment in her fans? And then she says, I've tried to connect with Courtney privately, but since I publicly fueled all this, I want to also publicly apologize. I'm so sorry, Courtney. I hope you can heal now knowing how deeply sorry I am. And I'm sorry I let all you guys down. I will forever work on being better than I was 10 years ago, one year ago, six months ago. So again, there's the focus on disappointing the fans, which, like I said, is understandable, but aren't you more disappointed in yourself Aren't you more disappointed in the fact that you basically belittled someone's humanity so much that you felt comfortable enough to tell them to kill themselves? And granted, everyone online says stupid things. This is what some of the stands are trying to kind of defend her with, that everyone online says stupid things. And I agree, everyone online says stupid things. 
However, it's a very different ball game to say something stupid, to have a hot take that you might have not researched well enough, to say something ignorant. Those are things that happen to a lot of people. Saying to kill yourself, to go to sleep forever, to a 16 year old who's been groomed, that's not, that's not common occurrence and that to me does not count as a simple mistake online that everyone relates to. None of my friends I know have ever said, go kill yourself to someone, even in the worst of situations. So that is not relatable and that is not a small mistake. So for any of the stands who are, or maybe gonna come out and say, you know, like everyone makes those errors, no, that is not the case especially not with a grown woman, especially not a grown woman with a large following, especially to a victim of grooming. No, absolutely not. And like I even said at the beginning, nobody deserves death threats. Even Hutchinson, I don't approve of his behavior. I think it's creepy. I think it's predatory. But even then, death threats, no, they don't go for anyone. Holding someone accountable is actually more productive than just sending death threats or telling people to kill themselves. Anyways, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you to my patrons and I'll catch you guys next time.